Hey guys, welcome to another Tea Time Show with me, Mark Tillerson. Um, today's show is about how to optimise Google Ads using location bid adjustments. Um, so this is where um, Google Ads will report to you where your users are and the relative performance of your campaigns um, in terms of click-through rate, average ad position, cost per conversion, return on ad spend, um, all the good stuff that means you're making money or you're not. Um, so what I'm going to go through in today's show is how uh, to use Google Ads location targeting, um, some looking at geographic performance data in your Google Ads campaigns, um, the difference between geographic and user location reports, um, and then finally how to optimize your Google Ads using those location bid adjustments. Um, as usual, um, if you enjoyed this show and you want to learn more about how to get the best from your Google AdWords campaign, then uh, do subscribe and there'll be more videos coming up about how to make you more profit using Google Ads. Um, and if you do struggle with this particular topic, um, then do ask questions in the comments and I'll do my best to um, answer those and point you in the right direction. So let's dive into a Google Ads account. Um, so I'm in a specific campaign at the moment um, and I've headed to the locations section. I'm going to assume that you've already understood and configured your geographic targeting. Um, so there are, there are other blog posts that we've done and other tea time shows on geographic targeting. Um, generally speaking though you should probably be targeting one country per campaign as a general rule um, otherwise you're mixing up lots of different um, audiences in terms of kind of what's the return on investment, what's the conversion rate, what's my average ad position, what's the click-through rate, um, and it's quite difficult to manage. Um, so let's assume in this example that you are targeting the United Kingdom, or maybe England, Scotland, Wales, maybe just England, but quite a big geographic area. So within, uh, let's say, England, of course, we have lots of counties and we have lots of towns um, and even down to individual postcodes. And Google will give you uh, that data in your Google Ads account to show you the relative performance between those um, locations at whatever level you choose to pick. So as you can see here, um, I'm in this location section. So if we look here first, we've got a geographic report and we've also got a user location report. So what's the difference between these two? Okay, so the geographic report is uh, locations that triggered your ad. So that could be the user's physical location or a location that that person showed interest in. So if you are targeting your campaigns based on that this method, um, so let's say you are targeting uh, Manchester, you could be targeting people who are physically in Manchester and people who show an interest in Manchester but who may be in London. So that's what this geographic report is showing you is people who are in Manchester who are in interested in Manchester. The user location report removes that um, interest element so it's only their physical location. If you're an e-commerce store, generally speaking, there's probably not going to be a huge amount of difference between those two reports. Um, if you are more like a, a local business or you provide a service in a particular area, it could be someone from outside of Manchester looking for a, that service in Manchester, even though they're not physically there. So there's, there's a, minor differences. The one thing um, that I would say with regard to geographic versus user location is just keep it consistent um, and use the same method wherever you're using it and you should do just fine. So if we head into uh, the geographic report you will see that we can go into United Kingdom and then we can break down by province, county, municipality, uh, town or count, uh, town city and right down to postcode. Um, if your business is particularly related to something to do with airports then you can do that. Um, but generally speaking um, town city or county. Should you pick county or should you pick town city? Um, again this is going to come down to how much data your account 
is getting. So if you're getting a huge amount of traffic um, in, in a short space of time, then town or city might be appropriate. Um, if your campaign is not spending so much, then maybe county is a better way to go, a level up where you're going to be able to say, OK, I've got 100,000 impressions and, and I don't know several thousand clicks in Hampshire, rather than saying, what have I got in Portsmouth or Southampton or Fareham or whatever. Um, so when you are optimising your bids um, based on the locations, you're going to need quite a lot of data to make that decision. So if you're optimising for conversions or return on ad spend, there's little point in saying, well, we've had 23 clicks over the last 30 days from Portsmouth. Um, we've had one conversion. Should I increase that bid? Should I decrease it? You can't really make that decision. So if you go down to town level and you're only getting a conver one conversion per month from a town, then it's going to take you probably three or four or five or six months to get enough data to say Portsmouth is uh, a good location for my campaign or it's not, um, in which case county level probably is better. Um, so you can look at the two. So there we go. Um, and then we can sort by cost. And we can add our columns in here as well for uh, conversions, cost per conversion, um, conversion value over cost, the return on ad spend figure. Um, and then we can apply those and we can see that performance for counties. So here we go, Greater London, not quite a county Google, but we'll let you off. Conversion value over cost is three to one in this period, which is pretty good. But West Midlands, uh, not so good. Um, so we might want to adjust our bids there. So now let's look at uh, United Kingdom and let's break down by town and city. And then because I'm looking at quite a big date range, I can start to see here, there's Birmingham, there's the West Midlands. Um, pretty terrible return on ad spend compared with the average um, for this whole uh, campaign that I'm looking at. So again, we may want to make a bit adjustment in there. So how do we go about um, editing these bids? So I'm in the geographic report right now and I can tick these and then I can go to edit and then I can add them as a target and then set the bid adjustment. Um, so you can see that actually I've already got some of these added um, already um, and I can make that change but when you first do this obviously all of these like you saw in counties a moment ago all of these uh, have just no bid adjustments at all so the first thing to do is just add those as locations we're getting traffic we're spending money um, we want to add those into the locations um, so let's assume that I've done that if I now go back to targeted these are the ones I've already added. I can look at my costs and I can start going through here and saying, OK, what is my uh, what's my conversion value over cost? So we can start looking and saying, right, OK, Birmingham uh, is pretty terrible. I'm going to want to reduce the bid. So let's decrease my location bid for Birmingham down by 20 percent because it's pretty terrible in terms of my conversion rate um, uh, my return on ad spend my conversion value over cost so this is an e-commerce um, uh, account by the way um, I'd also bear in mind that um, unlike demographic bid adjustments which is the show we did last week um, with the location bid adjustments you can use location bid adjustments in Google Ads on search campaigns on display campaigns and you can use them with Google Shopping campaigns as well um, unlike those demographic ones so so this is good um, and the other thing to bear in mind with uh, location bid adjustments is you can only make the bid adjustment at campaign level you cannot make it at ad group level um, like you can with uh, demographics and audiences um, so again um, my methodology here would be look at a big date range I'm looking for consistent data I'm looking at my average return on ad spend and saying right okay I've got Birmingham Liverpool is pretty good um, but not great it's actually about average so I'm gonna drop that just down to 10% um, Bristol we're doing pretty well on now so I'm gonna just change that to zero so there's no bid adjustment um, Leeds we're doing horribly so 
I'm going to again decrease that and what I'm trying to do is obviously optimize the return on ad spend using the location bid adjustments here so that um, where my return on ad spend is good for a particular city then I'm happy to pay a little bit more my ads will be in higher positions I'm going to get more impressions of my ads and get more clicks and the conversion rate is going to be better um, whereas conversely these areas where my conversion rate is pretty poor my return on ad spend is very poor I want to lower the bids um, and I could get to the point where um, if it's particularly bad I'm just gonna just turn them off I'm gonna exclude those locations completely um, so again you know we're looking at Glasgow um, and there, there are any number of reasons why the uh, particular location may perform worse than others. Um, it may be that the product or service, uh, the product we're, we're supplying or the service we're providing um, is a more expensive one. And maybe this is an area where, um, you know, the average household income isn't so good and they can't afford that. Um, maybe it's that we're selling something very cheap and this is quite a, an affluent area and, you know, the, the approach and the expectations of a product or service are very different so um, any number of reasons why that might happen um, and again I would generally just be going through uh, these and looking at um, return on ad spend what's doing really well increasing those bids now uh, remember that the bid adjustment they all multiply so we can have bid adjustments for device for location what we're seeing here we can have audience bid adjustments and we can have demographic bid adjustments for age and for gender so remember that they all multiply together so if we've got a 60 year old male who is in Slough on a mobile device we may say okay Slough's doing really well so we get a 20% bid increase but um, this user is on a mobile device which isn't so good for us for whatever reason so we've reduced that by 30% but then it's a male who tends to you know they tend to convert quite well so actually there's a 10% bid increase there um, but actually between uh, you know that age group that includes 60 year olds um, not so good for us so there's minus 10% so it multiplies all of those together to get the bid for that individual user so again remember you are using comparisons here to see um, how each town or each county um, in your geographic report is um, performing relative to elsewhere. So that in a very quick nutshell is how we do location bid adjustments in your Google Ads account to optimize performance, cost per conversion and conversion rate overall for the whole account. Um, if you need to ask some questions about that, I'll be happy to answer them. Um, please uh, ask in the comments and we'll put that in there. Um, give us a like if you've enjoyed this and remember to subscribe for more videos on how to get the best from Google AdWords.